Alright, so originally I wanted to build a jiggless frame, but my building skills aren't as good as I had hoped for. So I'm going to do the next best thing, and that is to build a, a jig for the frame so that everything lines up properly. Um, it's important that when you're building a, a frame to keep the, uh, the rear and front axle and the bottom bracket all parallel with each other um, so that your drivetrain and your um, and your wheelbase all track well. So let me show you what I've got here. Basically I've got about two pieces of quarter inch um, plywood and I've drawn a template out. You can see here I've got my my point for the rear axle and this is the center point for the bottom bracket and then up here I've got the uh, the front axle. So I'm going to take these two pieces of plywood and attach them to um, a piece of shelving and I'll show you that part a little bit later. Um, but basically I need to keep uh, both of these pieces of plywood perfect together. So what I'll do next is I'll drill some holes so these holes line up exactly together um, so that they're parallel to one another when I put them on the other board. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out and then I'll fill you in on what the, uh, the other board looks like. All right, I just wanted to reiterate how important it is to get a couple of things uh, lined up here. Um, if you get this part off, then your, your, your jig is going to be wrong and your bike's going to be misaligned. So what I've done is I've taken these uh, this two pieces of quarter inch plywood and I've made sure that the front is, is flush with each other and that the bottom is flush with each other. Now I used a uh, I used a, um, a chop box to cut this off, so this this side here is also flush with each other. So when I line this up on the uh, on the bottom part of the jig, um, this will make everything um, parallel to each other. So you got to get that straight. Now I've just got some clamps here that's holding this together, and what I've got over here is a drill press. Um, remember, this is set up to uh, zero this bottom plate, so that we have a good um, straight hole when we drill through uh, these pieces of plywood. This is a 9.5 millimeter drill bit or 3 eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. You can see here I've got uh, the holes from the template. That's the front axle. I've got the uh, center of the bottom bracket shell and I've got the uh, the uh, rear axle point right there. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out and then I'll show you what we need to do next. Okay on this jig I'm going to be using uh, a couple of plates to help align the uh, the rear dropouts and um, I'll show you that a little bit later but uh, basically I just wanted to show you that you'll need a couple of plates like this um, and you'll need to drill a hole in them. I just put both of these together and drilled it. As far as it being flush and stuff uh, this part doesn't really matter and I will show you why in a little bit but um, I just wanted to show you that you're going to need a couple of plates like this with some holes drilled in it. Okay, uh, just real quick on this, I wanted to show you um, uh, chop boxes aren't really uh, designed to be precision instruments. Um, most of them are made for framing. So unless you've got one that is really uh, designed for um, exact cutting, um, I don't trust it. So what I've done is I've taken this uh, carpenter square and I've lined it up with the uh, side of this, uh, this board here and I've drawn a line and um, that'll give me a much more precise um, alignment when I put the, uh, the jig sidewalls on. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to go ahead and, and use a staple gun and staple the sidewalls to this, uh, to this board here. Alright, I'm using some uh, Tredex to, uh, to line everything up. Um, I'm also using a, a square here. So basically what I do is I'll put uh, I'll put the tread X in and then hold the square up to it, align it up where it's it's straight, and then shoot it on with the nail gun. Um, the next thing we gotta do is is uh, mark some lines so that we can cut these out. You can run your your um, 
your threaded rod through there, but it's a lot harder to, to get parts in and out because um, you have to unscrew your bolts all the way off of it, which can kind of be a pain. So I like to just cut some lines in it and then just set everything down in there and just make sure that everything is um, resting on the bottom of the hole. See there, and you can see over here I've got this one cut out. I just use the coping saw, the line doesn't have to be exact. You just gotta make sure that, that you don't mess with the uh, bottom of the hole there. So um, that's all I've got for this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Then I'll give you a preview of what it looks like when they're done. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to it really. All right, in order to get the bottom bracket straight, um, I took two uh, two inch plates of uh, aluminum, which are an eighth inch thick, and basically measured the diameter of the tube, and then took the radius and my calipers, and I put this on the center there. You can see I draw lines to find the center. And then I took the uh, calipers and just marked a line like this all the way around um, you know four points of it and then I took the bottom bracket placed it on those lines and then drew a pencil line around it and what that will do is um, it'll give me the center of the bottom bracket because I'll take this, uh, this 3 8 inch bit now and drill the center of that and then the, uh, the rod from the uh, jig will go through that hole and then um, we'll use some bolts to fasten everything so that'll keep my bottom bracket um, perpendicular to the uh, the axles It'll also keep this parallel to the axles as well so thought I'd just show you that um, when I get it all put together I'll, I'll give you an update on it all right uh, I gotta cut the hole out for the rod to go through these plates which hold the uh, bottom bracket shell so what I've got here is a 3 8 inch uh, drill bit and I've got it lined up with the uh, center lines and I've got it clamped down with some boards. When you're cutting out aluminum a lot of times it wants to shift on you and it's hard to get a, a clean hole. So um, so I've got it clamped down Now I'm just going to turn this on and go slowly. That's it. You can see there. So now that rod will go through the uh, this plate, and we put the bottom bracket shell on so that it lines up with these uh, um, outer lines here, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, I wanted to show you why we had to put this other little block on here. Um, basically, what this does is it allows me to cut the the hole where it needs to be. So I take my 3 8 inch drill bit here, and then I'm just going to push it hard against the carbon fiber there. It's going to give me a hole, and I'm going to drill my hole for the uh, rear axle.